you realtors out there who have clients who claim to be pre-approved, even if you know them personally, or if they seem like really strong buyers, especially if you're at the higher price points and you just want to avoid any awkwardness, this video is going to be for you guys. Um, so I usually run across a more complex federal tax returns on the higher qualified buyers because they're going to have rental properties or uh, other sorts of passive income. And typically when that happens, there's going to be uh, schedule C's on their tax returns, schedule E's on their tax returns. So even though they could be making three, four, six hundred thousand dollars a year, because they're making that much income, there is an incentive to uh, pretty much try and write off as much of that income as possible because they're likely going to be in the highest tax bracket. So if you have a client that says they're good to go, they've got the money, and you even know how much money they make, or at least a ballpark uh, figure of how much they make, it's still going to be extremely important to look out for uh, their welfare by making sure that they're pre-approved and having a lender that you know and trust go through the application and look at the tax returns and look at the whole scenario. Because again, if you're in a higher price point, then that's likely going to be the higher deposit that your clients are going to be making. And if it's a lender that's not paying any attention to that and they, they never even got to see the income documentation, the tax returns, um, there might even be business tax returns, depending on the various different types of income that your clients have until later in the process, that earnest money could be at risk. And then they're not going to get the loan. Your reputation is, is going to be in question uh, because of it. And then the lender is going to feel terrible about it. So uh, if you got those clients, send them over to that lender, have them look at it first. I hope that helps.